Hello, my wonderful people. God bless you all. How are you doing? Hope the Lord is proving himself in your lives and in your families as well. Glory be to the name of our Lord. Calvary greetings to you all. Today, I just want to talk more about our spiritual growth. Hallelujah. In today's topic, maybe if you are somebody that wants to, you know, increase, that want an increase in your spiritual life, or maybe you are striving, you are struggling all you could, but the level you are operating in the realm of the spirit is still, you know, very shallow. I think today's topic is for you. My topic today says Christian growth and fellowship. Christian growth and fellowship. Hallelujah. In our walk with God, in all that we do in his vineyard, if we are not growing spiritually, then all we do is eye service. For we are not working for pastors. Neither are we working for people to glorify us. But we are doing the work of our heavenly father who sent us and as a messenger of the most high this growth is important in your life absence of this growth means you are not heading anywhere you are not making it right hallelujah i am talking about Children of God, those that are called in his vineyard. I'm talking about operating in a rema that brings about changes all around you. How do you achieve them? You can only achieve it through your spiritual growth. Series of encounter you have with god praise god so if you are someone that needs a spiritual growth stay tuned for today's topic is meant for you this is what helped me personally in my work with god it helps to grow my spiritual life that's why i don't want to hesitate in letting people out there know what the steps they will take in order to attain to the height in their spiritual growth. Hallelujah. Christian growth and fellowship. Today my topic circles all around these micro organizations in the house of God. There are all these little, little organizations, little groups in the house of God. Preaching Sundays alone is not enough. There is need for these little, little groups. For example, you are a child of God. And you find out that your prayer life is zero. You need an intercessory group. Intercessory group is where your prayer life will be activated. Joining the intercessory group will help you to pray your way out. It will help you. Not only praying yourself out, it will help you, it will make you an intercessor to make you, help you to stand, be able to stand in the gap for others. And remember, a prayerless child of God is a powerless child of God. If you are a child of God 
and you are expecting a spiritual growth and you can't pray, you haven't started. Because prayer is the only medium through which we communicate with divine. You pray. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. Oh, yes. So, I will recommend intercessory group. It will help you. In wherever you, in whichever uh, church you are, such if your church has intercessory group, prayer team, do yourself a favor. Join them. It will help you. It helped me. Yes. And I believe it will help you. It will reactivate your prayer life. And you will stand like a giant again in the realm of the spirit. Praise God. Another group I will recommend for you is Bible study group. Bible study group. In some churches, Bible study group, they hold their activities early before the church activities. Early before you know, Sunday service begins. So in my own church, that's we hold our Bible study earlier. For example, if church service starts 10 o'clock, we start Bible study class 8 o'clock. We dig deep for two hours before then the next service. So I don't know about your church, but Bible study church, Bible study group, do yourself a favor. Join it. It will help you to know the rightful word of God. It will help you. You know, there are different issues in life and every of them has a particular word of God that we, you will use to address it. So digging deep into the word of God, it will help you, you know, to equip yourself with the rightful word of God that you will use during your warfare, during your prayer times. Yes, so Bible study group, we call it digging deep into the word of God. And just know it. As you begin to deep, to dig deep into the word of God, the name of Jesus will become sweeter in your life. Like I do send this song for my young or newcomers in the Bible study group. I do sing this, this song for them. I will dig a little deeper. I will dig a little deeper. I will dig a little deeper. Deeper, yes. Deeper, yes. I will dig a little deeper. I will dig a little deeper. I will dig a little deeper. Deeper, yes. When you dig a little deeper, Jesus' name, then we be sweeter. I will dig a little deeper. Deeper, yes. Praise God. Digging deeper into the knowledge of God, to the knowledge of his word. It will help you to grow spiritually. Having enough word of God in your possession. The word of God in your possession is like an arrow in your hands. You know when and how to release each arrow. Directing the particular issue you want to address. So I would recommend Bible study class for you. If you have somebody that wants to grow spiritually. Praise God. Another group. That I will also recommend for you. I'm not saying that all other groups are not good. But these are the groups that helped me. And many people are also testifying of it. So that's why I'm mentioning these groups. Another group that will help you as well. To grow spiritually. Is 
evangelism group. Evangelism group, in that group, you will be trained, you know, you will be mentored on how to win souls for Christ. Remember, it is our primary assignment from the Lord. The Bible says, go ye into the world and preach the gospel. This group will prepare you very well so that when you go out there to win souls, you will not be, you know, gasping for words. But one ways, once you open your mouth to speak, the Spirit of God will begin there to deliver and convert souls. Hallelujah. So, I'm not, this uh, um, evangelism group is also important in your life as someone who wants to grow spiritually in the kingdom of God. Praise God. If you are in all this group, if you find yourself out there to minister, to talk to people about the salvation Christ shared for us, you will be equipped with the rightful word of God. When you are doing your warfare prayers, you will be equipped with the rightful word of God. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 10, from verse 4 to 6, it says that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but might through Christ, pulling down strongholds. Hallelujah. All these groups will help you will equip you away, you know, put you in a better position for warfare. It will help you to grow spiritually, become a mighty giant in the realm of the spirit. It will help you to operate in a realm that people who know you yesterday will begin to ask, ah, is it not this sister that I knew before? Is it not this brother that I knew before? It's because you have taken a step of equipping yourself with the word of God. Surrounding yourself with the rightful people. Some of us studying the Bible alone is difficult for us. But these small groups will help you. To learn how to study your Bible. These small groups will help you to pray more than two, three hours. At the beginning, you might not even be praying up to five minutes, ten minutes. But joining an intercessory group, oh my God, there is fire. Oh yes. I remember back then in EFAC, Evangelical Fellowship in Anglican Communion. That was where I was mentored. I started at the age of 10, 11, thereabout. That was when I joined EFAC. And to the glory of God, that's where the Lord took hold of my hands and made me who I am today in the realm of the spirit. And I bless the name of the Lord. So my wonderful people. These are the groups that will help you. It really helped me. It really helped many out there. So, Sash, if your local church have one of those groups, please do join them. For those groups are really doing wonders in their spiritual lives of many. God bless you. Remember, I am still your deaconess. If you haven't joined my channel, if you are not one of my subscribers, please, I do beg you, do subscribe. If you find this video worthy, give it a thumbs up. Do drop your comment and I will get back to you. See you in my next video. God bless you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.